After weeks of investigation, today was a special day for a boy, his birth mom, and her attorney. I actually was in court when I got the news, um, and I was trying not to cry on the record about it. Brittany Try has been the public defender for the birth mom of a boy who was allegedly kidnapped by his foster mom, Amanda Dingus, and her mother, Amber Dingus, who he was living with in Mount Vernon. The boy was reported missing November 28th. He was found in Vietnam on Wednesday. She was really shocked to, to find out it, that it was that country. She was really, I think, the first time really nervous that maybe they weren't going to be able to find him. But today, he was reunited with his birth mom. She said that he's doing good, that he was excited to see her. They, they're both excited, so the excitement goes both ways. Um, but she did say that he's very tired. Mount Vernon police say both suspects are not in custody and are still believed to be in Vietnam. But for the birth mom and her attorney, they are just happy he is home safe. I haven't thought about them that much. Uh, our number one priority was her son. One question the attorney says they do have is how he was even allowed to travel to Vietnam. To the best of my knowledge, the child doesn't have a passport. So I don't know how they got him out of the country without a passport. Now the attorney says the young boy will stay with his birth mother. The state had already started transitioning him to stay with her when he was allegedly kidnapped by the foster mom. It doesn't make sense to put him in a different home that he doesn't know with strangers to transition him back to his mother who's already done everything she needs to do. The attorney says the birth mom is just happy to have him home right in time for the holidays. She is very happy with how everyone has has worked to get him home safely and she is really excited to spend Christmas with him. There are a few things we still don't know about this case, including how the young boy was found and brought back to the U.S., but the two women are still not in custody. We're hoping to have those answers soon. Back to you.